welcome back. Melissa here from Morgan's Off the Leash, originally from Outdoors with Morgan for all you new subscribers. I appreciate you joining in and all of the original subscribers. Thanks for coming back. So I'm in the Bronco, which is parked in the building and I'm gonna be backing it out. I'm driving to um, our church. We have a service activity we're working on. So and it's a couple hours long, I'm gonna go, go help up with that. But I thought I'd talk to you guys on the way there. All right, and backed out of the building. I have to say it's very nerve wracking. One, Mike is pretty crazy about people backing up around his equipment and buildings, especially in the Bronco. This is his favorite. Um, this is his favorite. So he's always like, Melissa, please be careful. And I just realized I don't have the mount in my, I don't have the mount with me that holds my phone. So I really am not gonna be able to talk and drive. Right now you can see from behind me, I'm still in my driveway. But in this video, I'm gonna show you video from the Big Ten. Uh, daughter Hannah and I went to her husband Tyler is an athlete at Penn State and we went to Ohio. He was in the Big Ten for indoor throwing um, for the track and field meet. It was pretty impressive. I seriously took video I think of every athlete that was running um, the long distance, the short, the it was, and then his field event, Tyler is, was doing, um, it wasn't the hammer throw, cause that's outdoors. He does, um, it's like a heavy throw indoors. Maybe it's just called heavy throw indoors. So I wanna show you that video, and then I'm gonna show you video of when Mike and I went to, uh, we flew out to Minneapolis and attended the outdoor show, the Midwest outdoor show. We met a lot of you that came out to meet us from Outdoors with the Morgans, but I have footage I'm going to share here on Morgans Off the Leash. It was great to meet you guys, and we appreciate you um, spending time to come out and meet us. It was a good show. driving on this trip and now we're getting in the truck. We're going to go meet Tyler and have it. trip because that's what happens when you travel with me you drive I ride and she's backing into the parking space Call me my corn. he'd be so happy we go this way this is a really big facility this is my first event
we're going to take it from here. Mike is just asking for a specific time. So this, time. Is, this is the new one. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So basically, once you're in, the, the longer your law, the better it is. Okay. So you're not hooking and not hooking. Once you're in, saw it, split it, and then with this splitter, split three ways. But it also if your log is big, back it down. So you can split it again to make your moves. And then it just pushes up. Is it last one? This is what it looks like. So like I said, the neck is facing me and the waistline of the shirt is facing the back. So I try to just eye it up that it's evenly distributed on the bottom plate here. I'm gonna bring the press down for just um, four to five seconds. And all that does is just warms up the shirt, takes any like, uh, any moisture out of it, dries it up good. See how nice and flat that is. It actually feels good when I'm pressing and my hands are cold. It feels so good to just sit here, do this. Now I'm gonna put the transfer on. Like I said, I'm doing the finer things. So this is the Outdoors with the Morgans, the finer things in life. And um, I take my measuring tape And I measure three inches down from the bottom of the neck, the collar. And I just mark it like that. So I bring it back up. I, meet, I double check to make sure it's not upside down by accident. I have done that a few times. Line up the sides. I also like to measure from armpit to armpit just to make sure the shirt is laying straight. Just right. I'm gonna pull the press down and it will be pressing for 10 some seconds, and then it beeps, up, and it's a hot peel, so you peel this off quickly. 
So here's the transfer, and I don't know if any of you have ordered shirts, but I've been saving these. I cut them up into little pieces, and then I write a uh, thank you for ordering note on that and stick it in with the order. Now, I did not start that for like probably the first 100 orders. So here's the long sleeve. Outdoors with the Morgans, the finer things in life. I lay it flat. All right, I lay it flat on this table I've set up. I make these orders as uh, I have the labels and the order right in front of me. So I'll fold this up, put it in a bag, put the label on it and ship it. Seal it up, and then the label usually goes on first, but for privacy, I didn't want you to see um, the person's name and address, so I'll stick that in now. Ikea bag, I load it up with orders, but we have a couple of these, and we have a Home Depot bag. Um, Archie just likes to check my work and says the dog hair is free.